So today's video is all about foods for weight loss. If you know anything about me, you know that I've been able to lose 80 pounds and really just change my life and my habits. And I want to go over a lot of the foods that I use to help me lose that weight. And then we're also going to make a superfood salad, which is one of my signature meals. I eat it all the time. It's delicious. It is um, filled with nutrients, like super nutrient dense. And it's also very filling, so it keeps you full, which means it's good for weight loss. So I want to start by saying it is important to know that what makes these foods good for weight loss isn't just the amount of calories that's in them. It is how is it going to fill you up? Is it going to keep you full? Does it have tons of nutrients that is going to fuel your body and give it what it needs? And also, is it delicious? A lot of people miss that. They think that dieting or you know eating for weight loss means that you have to starve yourself or that you have to eat some food that's gross that you don't like or bland, plain. That is just not the case. So foods that are good for weight loss have all three of those characteristics, all right? So let's dive in. Um, I'm going to show you some of the foods that we're going to use in the salad and then other foods that I use for weight loss as well. So let's start out with some protein sources before we start making the salad. Now the big thing is you want to make sure that they have tons of protein but also they're not super high in calories, right? And we want to try to avoid tons of red meat. So have it on occasion but try not to have it more than once maybe twice a week, okay? So one of my go-tos is shrimp. I love shrimp because it's super low calorie, low fat, and it's high in protein. So a four ounce serving size has 100 calories, only 0.5 grams of fat, and 19 grams of protein. And you probably would have about two servings of this. So in one meal, you're going to be getting almost 40 grams of protein. And what that's going to do is not only support your body, your muscles, your tissues, everything, but it's also going to keep you full so you don't binge on other things that aren't so good for you later. So protein is so important and it's something you cannot skip. All right. Next, you can go with fish. So I do like flounder, and again, this is only for four ounce serving, 80 calories, one gram of fat, and 17 grams of protein. So that is just a great amount, like those macronutrients are amazing for weight loss, perfect. Now, I also love salmon. This is a little bit higher in fat, but it's the healthy fats. It's those omega-3s that are great for your heart and your skin and your nails and all of that good stuff. So that fat being like monounsaturated, omega-3s, um, polyunsaturated, those are the fats that you want. And you don't want trans fats, you don't want any of that. And then saturated fats, you wanna keep that at a low, low level, okay? So that's just a little quick fat, uh, going over fat, right? All right, so next, chicken. So maybe you're not into the fish or the shrimp. Grilled chicken is an amazing source of protein. So you can chop it up. I have it meal prepped and ready. That way I can just add it to, um, you know, anything. I could make some wraps or tonight we're gonna have the salad. So yeah. There's also other sources of protein. You could do turkey. There's tons of other fish. You could try vegetarian options. Um, there's just a lot of protein out there. Just make sure you are getting the proper amount. So you wanna try and aim for 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body fat. Now you can also do 0.8 to one gram of protein too, but uh, just start out with the 0.8 and try to get those grams in, okay? So let's go over some other stuff and start on this salad. Now, it is a superfood salad. So I have tons of leafy greens. That is another thing that is on my list. So a good thing about leafy greens is that they will fill you up. 
So if you're still hungry, say you ate dinner but you're still hungry, you can go ahead and make yourself a little salad and you know eat something, make sure that you're satisfied. This is going to be great to keep you nice and full and the added bonus that it has tons and tons of nutrients, okay? So we're going to add some kale, I put these together, and then I have spinach here. So I just wash my hands and everything. I'm just gonna get it all small. That way, you know, it can be like a perfect bite-sized little kale instead of trying to eat this with a fork. <laughs> we didn't want that. Now, I did uh, peel this ahead of time. So I peeled it off the stem and just prepped it. Now, I wanted to mention meal prep, and I will do a full video just on meal prep. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would want. I know I've kind of heard it, but if you guys really want that, then I will make that video. I'll get to it, get to work. Um, but meal prep doesn't have to mean that you have every single meal prepped and ready. Just get some of the things ready that you know you use a lot of. So for instance, for me, I had that kale ready because I use a lot of kale throughout my week. I chopped up onions, right? I chopped up cauliflower that I'm going to add to my salad as well. You know, I got, um, I get made the chicken. I got, uh, I made some shrimp actually. I cut up some celery. Like I just got the things ready that I know I use. I chopped some lemons because I use those every day. So think about what things you have that you eat every day and that will make it easier for you to grab something healthy instead of grabbing junk. Because most of the time the reason we're grabbing this junk food is because we don't even have anything else to reach for. So that is a big tip. Just get some things ready for yourself throughout the week so you have something to grab and just make sure that you don't have too much junk around. For me, I honestly, I have some treats sometimes, okay? You gotta give, you can't just eliminate your favorite foods altogether. So you have to give yourself some leeway. But I also don't like to have it just lying around the house. So if I'm gonna have a treat, I will go out and get it that day instead of just having it because if it's in the house, most of the time I'm going to snack on it, especially late at night when I have those cravings, I'm going to reach for that junk. So try not to have a bunch of junk around your house. Treat yourself, but just make sure you go get it that day. Okay, so that's just a little tip that I wanted to say. So let's put some spinach in here. All right, so that's enough of that. We'll put this back on. I also wanna add a little bit of spring mix. Organic spring mix. So we have a nice little mixture here of all kinds of leafy greens. This is what salad should look like. It should be dark leafy greens. If you only use iceberg lettuce, you're not getting enough nutrients in your salad. Iceberg lettuce, you can add it to this, but it's not going to be jam-packed with nutrients. So if you maybe you don't like spinach, just have the other stuff. Maybe you don't like kale, just eliminate that. But as long as you have some sort of nutrient-dense leafy greens, all right? So, Next, I also chopped up some purple lettuce. So I got a head of just um, regular purple lettuce, you can see here. And then I also have radishes. So another tip when it comes to eating healthy, try to make your diet filled with tons and tons of colors because each of these colors has different nutrients. So if you have a colorful diet, that means you're getting a bigger variety of nutrients in your diet. So I have, you know, these dark leafy greens, but I also have this deep purple lettuce. 
and the radishes, which are more of a red color. So we know that we're getting all kinds of nutrients in here. That's why we're calling it a superfood salad because you will get a lot of the nutrients that you need in just one bowl of salad. Okay. So we got that. I prepped that ahead of time. We're gonna put our onions in. And again, if you don't like any of this stuff, just skip it. Just don't put it in there. You know, just use what you actually like. Like I was saying earlier, if you don't love your food, you know, then why would you even want to eat it, right? You don't want to just have a bunch of junk that you don't like. You want to enjoy your food. So the trick is finding recipes and foods and snacks that you actually enjoy, right? That's the trick. And once you find those, then you can just continue to eat them. They're going to be what we call your staple foods. Okay, so we're gonna add some cauliflower. I love like a, a veggie filled salad. This makes me feel like I'm like at a um, a buffet. You know, you go to a buffet and you just throw a bunch of stuff on your salad. Yeah. All right, cauliflower. Adding more colors, carrots, which have lots and lots of vitamin A, great for you. So we're gonna throw a couple of those in there. And you can chop these up too, usually I, I will chop them up. Okay, a couple of baby carrots. Now let's talk about a few other things that aren't actually in the salad. So I get these, they're super easy. I'm, I'm very busy. So I have to get things that I can kind of throw together. This is 90 second quinoa and brown rice mixture. So I will add this to, you know, eat this with a meal or make like a little bowl. So I could just put a little bit of this mixture and it's very, very nutrient dense. It's better than just having white rice, you know. Another food, eggs, organic eggs. I, this is a great, protein source. Each of these is only 70 calories and they have seven grams of protein. So sometimes I will just hard boil some of the eggs and then I'll have that as a snack. So that way I can get a snack that actually has protein in it, right? I also love sweet peppers. Try grilling these or baking these in the oven. They are so juicy and sweet and delicious. So this is one of my staples. I love this. I will have, um, normally like in the summer, I'll have kebabs with this, maybe some mushrooms, onions. So, so delicious. It's all about looking forward to, to your food. We eat, we celebrate with food. We eat multiple times throughout the day. It's a huge part of our life. So you have to find ways to actually enjoy it, but also fill your diet with nutrient dense foods. You wanna live a long and healthy life. You have to take care of yourself. You have to eat your nutrients. At first, whenever my clients come to me, we focus at first on adding the foods that you need to your diet. Not so much on what you need to take away, but what you need to add what you need to have instead, you know what I mean? Because that is what's more important. Most of the time, people are so uh, just deficient in nutrients and they don't even know it, right? All right, so with this salad, I am also going to add some things to add flavor, a couple of croutons, a little bit of low-fat cheese, um, and then I always use for my dressing vinegar and oil. So olive oil is an amazing uh, healthy fat for you, but just make sure you watch your portions because it is very high in calories. So you can also get like a, a spray, an oil spray that has zero calories if you wanna cut down on those. But I would suggest using some olive oil here and there just because it's very good for you, okay? So you just have to choose your dressing and that is where you wanna make sure you, you're careful. You need to find a dressing that's not gonna to add too many calories to your salad, 
right? So if you're if you're dressing right now, currently is super high in calories, just work on finding a replacement for it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add that stuff to the salad. I do wanna go over a couple more foods before we finish. Sweet potatoes, these are extremely filling, delicious, and filled with vitamin A. So this is one of my staples, and what I like to do is chop them up Put a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon on there, and then, you know, kind of shake it up. Maybe even add like a stevia packet to make it a little more sweet. And then I'll go ahead and bake those in the oven. And they turn out really, really good. You can also have like sweet potato fries. If you have an air fryer, you can make them in there. You can do a lot of good things with sweet potatoes. So this is one of my staples. Lemon. I use a lot of lemon. It has... A, an amazing detoxing effect to your body and it helps me to drink more water throughout the day it just makes it easier for me I add one to my water and for some reason I end up drinking more so that's why I ah, no. that's why I love lemon um, also fruit so apples oranges uh, I have pears bananas strawberries blueberries again get that variety and assortment of color right Get that stuff. Um, oh yes, a biggie for me, almond milk and almond vanilla. I love almond milk and it's another food that's amazing for your skin. You know, you get your vitamin E in for the day. I think it's like half of the vitamin E that you need for the day in a cup of this. Yeah, 50% of the vitamin E. So a lot of us don't get enough of that vitamin E. So adding the almond milk, another good option. So. I'm gonna add that stuff to my salad and then I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it. I'm not gonna add it right this moment because I'm eating this in an hour after one of my calls. So I don't wanna add that and get soggy, but that is my superfood salad. Sometimes I add other things. Maybe I'll chop up some of the peppers. I mean, add what you love, right? Add the veggies that you love. Now, I just wanna, before we're done, tell you that veggies, you want to make those the main attraction of your meal. That's the point of this. It doesn't have to be in the form of a salad. I just love salads. I can eat salads all day, so that's why I do, right? But you want to just make sure that the veggies are that center, that, that, that main attraction, and then you build everything else around it. So you add a healthy protein source and a healthy fat to that. And then sometimes, you know, you can add the extra carbs like rice or potatoes or something like that. So I hope you guys got lots of value. Today was kind of just like an all over the place, um, healthy eating tips. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is in the comments below, okay? Now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm definitely gonna see you in the next one. All right guys, bye.